still holds in the region. The BBC's Nafise Kornavad reports. Flares are to evade missiles. We weren't in danger. This is part of the US-led coalition's routine defensive measures, a sign of a constant readiness over Iraq. After 45 minutes flight from Baghdad, we arrive at Al-Assad base. The last time I was here, it was right after Iran's ballistic missile attack. Now, after almost a year, I've come to see what has changed. Oh, God damn! The moment of impact, when Iran's missiles hit the base a year ago. Another one, another one. Stay right here, bro. It was in retaliation for Americans' assassination of Iran's most powerful general, Qasem Soleimani, killed in a drone strike. Today, all that remains from the damage of the blasts is a ditch filled with dust and some debris. But in the past few months, the base has been significantly fortified. The primary things that changed in the immediate aftermath was a few more defensive systems were, were established here. Those are the big things in the short term. Since then, we've made some improvements in terms of hardening the locations where we operate from. Since Iran's attack, this space has been calm. But here, in Baghdad's green zone, the U.S. Embassy and the coalition's central command have come under regular rocket attacks. This is the U.S. Embassy's defense system that they had to use twice in the past six weeks. These two attacks happened despite a call from Iran-backed militia for a conditional truce to give time to U.S. troops to leave. In the coalition's headquarters, developments are being closely watched. There is a number of groups out there that are acting in their own self-interest. They believe that they're acting uh, on behalf of either other states or for the interest of Iraq. Militia groups that are starting to fracture. And with that fracturing becomes each of them competing for their own self-interest. And through that, there could be miscalculation on their behalf. And I would hope that they see sense not to have an attack, that we can defend ourselves, and it's not in the best interests of the Iraqi people that they think that they serve. The US-led coalition was established in order to support Iraqi security forces in their campaign against so-called Islamic State. But since the attacks, cooperation with the Iraqi government has entered a new phase. At the moment, we provide the intelligence that's needed to allow the government to get after those militia groups to make sure that they're brought to justice. Baghdad is now on high alert, and the US's message is clear. If its interests in Iraq become under any attack, Iran will be considered responsible. Nafisa Kuhnavard, BBC News, Baghdad.